Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 4.1 and I want to show you how to enable Retro Achievements. Now Retro Achievements are cool. It only works with a finite number of emulators and games, but it's an awesome addition to your RetroPie setup. First thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and grab our Raspberry Pi's IP address. We go to the RetroPie logo at the beginning there, show IP right here. In the gray box, when you click on this, it will show your IP. It will be something like 192-168-10-13. Write that down. Take a picture of it because we're going to need it. You will also need to be connected to the same network that the PC we're going to be editing our retroarch.config file is connected to. So let's just say my Raspberry Pi is on Netgear 123. My PC also has to be on Netgear 123 in order for this to work. There are several ways to do this, but I find this the easiest. We're gonna move over to the PC. I'm running Windows 10. We're gonna download WinSCP, and I'll show you exactly how to do this. It's gonna enable retro achievements in all the supported emulators. Let's go ahead and move over to the PC now. First thing you need to do is head over to the RetroPie wiki page and read through the retro achievements wiki here. All the links are in the description. Make sure you wanna install this first off. It's very cool. It adds achievements to retro games. It only supports NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, and PC Engine. And it does not support all of the games. So read through this. Make sure it's something you want to do. It's really cool. It's an awesome addition to RetroPie. Next thing you need to do is grab a Retro Achievements account. It's free to use, just get a valid email address and sign up. I'm gonna go to Site Pages. We have Supported Games, and these are the supported platforms here. So I'm just gonna go to Super Nintendo. If we look through, these are all the supported games right now. Points available for the game itself. 400 is pretty much the maximum that I've seen. Some games are unfinished, so we have 125 here for Barbie Supermodel, one of the best games ever created for the SNES. Go ahead and sign up for an account because you're gonna need this. Last thing we need is WinSCP. This is free software, it's easy to use, and I'm gonna walk you right through it. Go ahead and grab WinSCP, download, installation package. It's only 8.7 megabytes. It should start downloading here and install it. We're gonna head back over to the RetroPie wiki. After you installed WinSCP, go ahead and launch it. Now from here, I'm just gonna click on new site. Make sure your file protocol is set to SFTP, host name. Now I can connect to my Raspberry Pi using all capital RetroPie. If you cannot connect by typing in all capital RetroPie there, you need to type in the IP address you got from show IP within RetroPie. Port number should be 22. Username is going to be PI for Pi, and our password is going to be Raspberry. So for my host name, I'm just going to type in RetroPie, and that always connects me. If that doesn't work, like I said, use your IP address. Log in. Now I'm inside of my Raspberry Pi's file system. We're gonna to go to the top folder here. Keep clicking till we get to the very end of the file system here. I'm just gonna snap it to the side, makes it much easier. Over on the RetroPie wiki page, this is what we need to add to our opt RetroPie configs all retroarch.config. So we're gonna go over here and find opt opt RetroPie, configs, all, retroarch.cfg, retroarch config. Double click and it should open up the text file for us. So what I'm gonna do now is just snap this over here. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. So I'll grab my little slider here and right before the hashtag, hashtag, hashtag bundle extraction. I'm gonna add a new line here. So I'm just gonna press enter. I'm gonna copy all of this. 
and I'm going to paste it right here. Now for your username, you're going to need to put in your Retro Achievements username. You're also going to need to put in your password. So I'm just going to go. When you're done with that, click the Save button up at the top here. And we can close out of Win SCP. Retro Achievements is now activated within RetroPie on our Raspberry Pi. We're going to move back over there now. If I go to my RetroAchievements.org, my account here, as you can see, the last two games I played was Captain Commando for SNES and Battletoads for NES. Now, I have not gained any achievements for either one of these games. We're going to be coming back here and I want to show you because I'm going to play Do Re Mi Fantasy. I'm going to grab a few achievements. We'll come back to this page and it will show us the achievements we have. It will also prompt us while we're playing the game at the very bottom in yellow that we got an achievement. Let's move over to the Raspberry Pi now and start a game. Okay, now that we're back at the Pi, I definitely recommend restarting one time or do a quick reboot. So press start, go to quit, restart emulation station. Yes. Now it's time to start a game. I'm going to go to Super Nintendo and I wanted to get a few achievements in Do Re Mi Fantasy. Start the game. So if you don't get an error in the lower left hand corner, you should be good to go. You should be logged into Retro Achievements. Now what I'm going to do is just start the game. I'm going to play through a little bit and I looked at the achievements. One of them is to get a new set of clothes. So I'm going to try to do that real quick and see if I can grab that achievement. Looking like another, down in the bottom, picked up some clothes. Pretty cool, I already got an achievement for this game. So I'm gonna try to grab this other achievement and then we'll go back to the PC and check them out on retroachievements.org. So there are a couple of other ways to set up retro achievements in RetroPie, but I find that WinSCP is the easiest one. The adventure begins. Another achievement. Complete the first level. Pretty cool. So I'm going to move back to the PC now and show you the two achievements that I just got. All right, so if we take a look here, Do Re Mi Fantasy. Earn two of 33 achievements. I have three points out of 400 points. I gained the first achievement here, or actually this is the second one I got, which was finishing the first level. And this was for collecting some clothes. 6% complete. And if we look up here, I have three points. Pretty cool feature to add within your RetroPie setup. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But a lot of this information has been answered in the RetroPie Retro Achievements Wiki page. Like always, thanks for watching.